Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of adding and subtracting whole numbers and decimals. This is standard 4.4a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 21 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Christine is going to spend $10 bill to at the book fair. She's going to buy one book for $4.95, two, pay attention to that, bookmarks for $0.65 cents each, and then a keychain, so that's also going to be just one for a buck eighty-five. So we're looking for change. So this is going to be an interesting problem because our total is going to be right here. So our total is 10. Let's see if we can represent this with a strip diagram to just kind of visually see what we've got working here. So our total in our part, part, whole, actually this is going to be part, 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 whole. It's going to be that $10 right there. So that's how much she has to spend. She's going to buy quite a few things. So she's going to spend a big chunk right here, $4.95. That's going to get her a book. Then she's going to get two bookmarks for $0.65 cents each. So that's the tricky part is we're going to have to kind of hit this 0 0.65 twice, not just once. If you don't do that, you're going to get the incorrect answer. So that's the bookmarks are these two guys right there. And then we've got a keychain for a buck 85. And that's the keychain. Now here's the thing. She hasn't spent all of her money. She's got some money left over. This question mark that's her change. So the book, the bookmarks, the keychain, plus the change all add up to $10. So obviously when we've got this part, part, whole, we can subtract, but we first need to get what we'll call a subtotal. Subtotal means we need to just add up all the things that she spent money on to see how much money she spent. We don't know that yet. We just know it in little pieces. So let's add that up and let's make sure we line everything up correctly. So we've got 4.95. We've got 65 cents twice because there's two bookmarks. There's 65 cents each. And then $1.85 for a keychain. We're going to add this up and see how much money she spent. 5, 10, 15, 20. Let's see. I like to make tens, so I'm going to hit that 10. That's going to be a 12, so that's 22, and that's a 9, that's 31, and that's 4, 7, no, nothing there with the set with the zeros, so that's 8. All right, so she has spent a total of $8.10. Now, you notice that's not over here. Why is that not on A, B, C, or D? Because we're not asking how much she spent. We're asking for the change. So this 8, 10 plus the change is going to get you back up to that $10. So really what we need to do is we are going to need to subtract. Here's the problem though. We've got this 10 and we've got an 8, 10, but we need to line up the decimals, but there is no decimal with that $10 bill. So when there is no decimal on a number, you can always put it after the ones place. So this is how we line it up. 10 decimal and then $8.10. And that looks a little strange. You can always put zeros, as many zeros as you want to after the decimal. So we're going to need to regroup. The ones place is fine, but we really can't do anything with that, that tenths place, excuse me, the hundredth cents and then the 10 cents right there. So we're going to have to come over here, take away this $10 bill, break it up into 10 ones. Take a one, break and leave nine, break that up into 10 dimes. So our 10 dimes here, 10 minus one is gonna be nine. And then nine minus one is gonna be eight. So there we go. Our answer here is gonna be a buck 90. That's how much change she has left. So our answer is D.